Do you spend hours at the bench only to be disappointed by your Western results? Would you like to free yourself from the monotony of the traditional Western workflow? Introducing the new iBind Flex Western system. Utilizing sequential lateral flow technology, the iBind Flex Western system automates the painful manual steps of antibody incubation and subsequent washing of your blot in a setup and walk away solution without the need for electricity. Whether you're processing wide format MIDI blots, mini blots, or vertically cut strips, the iBind Flex Western system will add automation, reproducibility, and performance to your Western workflow. With its interchangeable reagent wells, it is capable of processing MIDI sized blots, up to two mini sized blots, or up to six vertically cut strip blots. The iBind Flex device consists of a liquid door where reagents are loaded, a dry erase area to notate in use and start time, a main latch handle and lid, two spring loaded plates to hold the card, and a drawer to store the unused well inserts. To change the well inserts, first open the liquid door and main lid. Open the drawer by pushing to unlatch it. Remove the current well insert by pushing it out from the back. Remove the desired well insert from the drawer, making sure to store the well insert you just removed from the lid with handle with care facing up. Install the desired well insert in the lid. Note that the insert can only be installed in one orientation. In order to process your western blots, make sure you have an iBind Flex device, an iBind Flex card, the iBind Flex solution kit, the roller, and the quick reference card. To begin, prepare your 1x iBind Flex solution, your primary antibody solution, and your secondary antibody solution according to the quick reference card. Start by placing your blot or blots in 10 milliliters of 1x iBind Flex solution. Remove an iBind Flex card from the pouch, taking care to handle it by the stack only. Place the card in the device, making sure it is aligned against the back stop. Wet the card evenly with 10 milliliters of 1x iBind Flex solution. Alignment guides will show through the card once wet. Use these guides to ensure proper alignment of mini blots or vertically cut strip blots with their respective wells. To process a MIDI sized blot, first make sure the MIDI well insert is installed. Then add an additional 2 milliliters of 1x iBind Flex solution to the card, allowing it to pool per the quick reference card for MIDI sized blots. Place your blot protein side down across the membrane region indicated on the device, with the low molecular weight bands closest to the stack. Use the roller to remove any air bubbles. In order to process up to 2 mini blots, First, make sure the mini well insert is installed. Add an additional 1 milliliter of 1x iBind Flex solution for each blot to the card, allowing it to pool per the quick reference card for mini sized blots. Use the center alignment guide to place your blots on either side. Continue with rolling the blots to remove air bubbles. In order to process up to six vertically cut strip blots, Start by installing the multi-strip well insert. Add an additional 2 milliliters of 1x iBind Flex solution to the card, allowing it to pool per the quick reference card for the multi-strip well insert. Use the alignment guides to place your blots in the white spaces between the black lines. Continue with rolling the blots to remove air bubbles. To continue, close and latch the lid and open the liquid door to expose the wells. Add the volume of reagents specified in the quick reference card sequentially, starting with your primary antibody in each well of row 1, 1x iBind Flex solution in each well of row 2, your secondary antibody in each well of row 3, and more 1x iBind Flex solution in each well of row 4. Notice that for the mini and multi strip inserts, each column can be loaded with a different antibody pair. Use a dry erase marker to indicate that the device is in use in the start time of the experiment. Now, walk away and get back to your life for the next two and a half hours. You can even leave it overnight. When you return, open the liquid door and ensure that row 4 is dry. Remaining liquid in row 4 indicates that the experiment has not yet completed. After the experiment has completed, open the lid, rinse your blot in water, dispose of the used iBind Flex card, and proceed to your chemiluminescent 
fluorescent or colorimetric immunodetection protocol. To clean the device, remove the well insert and rinse it under running water. Thank you.